good morning. We're all here. The gang's all here. We're in Yellowstone. We are at the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, checking out some of the waterfalls and some of the amazing sights here. Uh, the drive-in last night was beautiful for the most part, and then once it got dark, a little bit harrowing, but still fun. Um, we stayed at Bridge Bay Campground last night, which is so far not my favorite place to camp. We had about 12 square feet of asphalt to put our camper on. So we basically just slept there, didn't put the slide out, and then I uh, got up early and came here, had breakfast, and just ran around all those things. So anyway, looking forward to a good day of hiking here, and I'm uh, gonna see what we're gonna see. It should be a lot of fun and hopefully some great photos. So after this, we are headed to uh, Mammoth Hot Springs and a few other things. So anyway, it should be a fun day. Stop number two for the day. We are at Norris uh, Basin, which is a very active geothermal part of Yellowstone. So we're gonna be walking on this trail right here and uh, checking out some of the geysers and enjoying some of this warm geothermal activity on a nice cool morning. Uh, fog is finally burned off and you know, parking really wasn't that bad here when we got here at 9.30. So having a great day so far. Woohoo, spooky and warm, surprisingly. Not, actually, shouldn't be surprisingly. It's steam. Of course, it's warm. Knucklehead. All right, off we go. Good animal viewing at the end of the day. I did not know there would be 
hundreds of bison in this field. But if you want to give me credit for it, I'll make credit for it. That guy's moved at all. He's just standing there. They were fighting, like that guy's put up this fighting. I don't know if this is like what stood him in that. Oh. Did that mean anything? So maybe they were just gonna get that. So it's official. Day one at Yellowstone National Park was downright amazing. Uh, first thing this morning, got up early, saw Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Uh, the waterfalls were just amazing as the river comes crashing down into that beautiful canyon. Um, yeah, the hike was nice. Getting up there early before all the rest of the, the people showed up was definitely the right choice um yeah it was just a beautiful day you know it started off a little bit foggy I was worried about the weather but everything cleared up and it's just been an absolutely amazing day from there we headed over to Norris Geyser Basin and saw some amazing uh, geysers and geothermal features there from there we kind of circled around up into the top half of the park up toward Mammoth Springs uh, by then, it was right around 1 o'clock, and it was, frankly, absolutely mobbed with people. Um, couldn't get a spot to park at the springs there at that particular time, but I think most of it was just the time of the day that we were there. So really didn't do a whole lot. We did a quick drive-by, parked for a bit, uh, checked out the visitor center um, in a little uh, hotel area that they had, and just kind of walked through all the old army barracks that were there and just enjoyed that. It was it was nice. Um but definitely very uh, people-y at that particular time. So from there, we decided what we were gonna do is we were gonna find a spot along the Yellowstone River and just kind of set up camp, sort of. Uh, park the RV, put the jacks down, put the camper out, and just have a nice, enjoyable dinner. Well, on the way back uh, through Hayden Valley, there was these amazing buffalo herds are out there. I mean, I don't think it's quite thousands, but there was definitely hundreds of buffalo out there disturbing traffic, running through the fields, rolling in the dirt, frolicking. It was just amazing. So on our way to this amazing spot that we ended up having dinner, uh, we got to see the buffalo. There's actually some ducks playing there in the river. A little while ago, there was actually a buffalo, or correction, a bison, a bison up on that hill across the way. So it's just been an amazing day. The weather's been exceptionally cooperative with the exception of, um, Mammoth Springs, traffic really hasn't been that bad. I have not had a hard time parking a 30-foot RV here at Yellowstone in, frankly, peak season. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people here. There's plenty of places to park. Um, we're at a turnout right there. You can kind of see the RV behind that pine tree. 
but this turnout is huge. You could fit 10 cars there and it was no problem pulling in. There's a couple, occasionally we all see people, people rolled in, there was some folks fishing down here on the bank a little while ago. Um, but the only thing that I have to say that I don't like about Yellowstone, frankly, is the campground. Um, we're staying at Bridge Bay. Our campsite is a posted stamp, even for the size RV that we have. Can't put the slides out. Um, so that's why we're kind of hanging out here. It's just been an amazing spot. And in a couple minutes, we'll pull up Jack's and head back there and basically sleep, dump, and fill up some water. But other than that, we are not taking advantage of the amenities of the campground. In fact, I'd sleep here tonight if we were allowed to. But anyway, so far, Yellowstone, two gigantic thumbs up. Tomorrow, we're heading over to the Tetons, kind of going up the south entrance. And then the day after that, we will hit the other half of Yellowstone and all the, I guess, famous parts. Um, Old Faithful, Prismatic Spring, etc. And then once we do all those, we will head out of the west entrance hit a Grizzly RV park, kind of do a little bit of restocking and then from there head up the glacier. So it's been a nice relaxing day, two more relaxing days in front of us uh, before we get back on the road. So stay tuned and see how it turns out.